Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com and a couple of weeks ago I saw a video out on YouTube that I thought was just a really good idea. There was a lady who was putting a tape over a balloon to create a fake paper mache mask for kids. Um, I'm saying fake because there was no paste or anything involved. The, the tape itself had this stick -em on it. But it was a, a special kind of tape that isn't available anymore. The video was done back, I think, in 2016. It was called Wet and Stick. So it was kind of, it was really similar to paper mache in that you could, you would basically tear off the pieces of the tape and lay them out. She had different colors and she laid them out on her table. And then when she wanted a particular color, she would pick it up, dip it in water to make the, the stick on the back active. And then she would put it on her balloon. And it really did turn out really cute. She had they were she was making balloon shaped masks that would go over a kid's head, and kids would absolutely love them. And I was thinking, what a what a great idea! If you want to do something that's really fast, and you don't really want to wait for paper mache to dry, and if it's just a temporary thing like a mask that you're probably never going to use again, you're not trying to to make something for your decor, you're not going to keep it forever. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're not going to be putting it in a gallery or a museum or selling it or anything. Then tape mache. I just, I just love that idea. But I did look for the tape. Um, and I, I couldn't find it. I found one listing for it out on Amazon.com. I'll put a link to it down below. And it, it says it's not available now. I couldn't find it anywhere else. So I think it's been discontinued. It just isn't available and I really wanted to play with her tape and I, I didn't get to. I, I kind of played around with some other kinds of tape. I do actually have this tape that has the, the water activated stick -em on it. But it's got reinforcing on it and it's really slick It's it, and, and it's really stiff. Um, so that just wouldn't work. It's not the same. And I tried a few other different kinds of tape. Masking tape, we already know, it curls up all on, on the corners and, and it wouldn't work. It's great for the inside of a sculpture, for the armature, but not for the outside layer. Just, I don't think it would work very well. So I found this stuff. I'll put it up here so you can see it. Gentle paper tape. So I thought, you know, it's paper. So this has a lot of potential. And so I went ahead and ordered some. And I liked it so much in my little um, experiment here, I actually ordered some more, but it isn't the same as her tape, the, the, uh, the tape that was being used in that other video. This tape is really soft and her tape was like, well, like a heavy paper, I think. So she was able to put her tape over a balloon and once you let the air out of the balloon, then you ended up with a hollow mask that you could put over your head and there was no support under it at all. This tape is going to need some kind of support. That would that works really well for me because I make all of my masks out of a cereal box cardboard and this is working really well. But for just itself over the balloon idea, no, we're going to have to find some other kind of tape. <laughs> if you happen to know of one that would work, um, let me know. But I really did have a lot of fun playing with this. It's perfect for the project that I happen to be working on. A couple of weeks ago, I saw some masquerade masks. You know, just the kind that has the, the face here, um, usually black or lace or something. And then it had these wonderful feathers on it. And I thought it would be so much fun to play with feathers. I've never done that before. But if I had a, a mask with feathers on it, I would want the whole mask to look like a bird, <laughs> right? So I made patterns, three of them. I actually only intended to do one, but Amazon's been a little slow, so the feathers didn't get here. In fact, the, the, the um, big white ones for the cockatoo are, are supposed to be here today, so it took a long time. And so during all that time, I just kept kept designing more masks. <laughs> uh, this one is for a, a guinea taraco. That's, that's what it'll look like. Hopefully, something like that anyway, when it's all done. That's the real bird, and that's... That's the shape of it. Obviously their actual head isn't pointy, but this is where the, the feathers would be um, glued onto. This one is a Himalayan Mono, and they obviously don't have little pyramids on the top of their head either. They have long feathers that go either forward or backward. So I made a little pyramid so you could make them go either way. And this one is the Umbrella Cockatoo. And unfortunately, I, I did put tape on all of these and I'm going to show you that in just a second. This one 
it, the pattern maker made a boo-boo <laughs> and I had to make a change after I got this all done and I, even after I put some modeling paste on there to, to make feathers, uh, feathers along the side. I had to do it over and so I have two of these one of them in with just plain old newspaper and wood glue because that the wood glue dries really fast so we actually have two of these we, um, we've got the same same one <laughs> and I'll be able to tell you the difference in them the flexibility how strong they are and all that sort of thing I'll do that at the end I'm gonna uh, first of all I want to show you how easy it is to put the tape on here I'm, that's what I'm really excited about it does actually fit onto a regular tape dispenser but it's so easy to just tear it. I just went ahead and did that. And I just uh, tore off a piece and put it on. It's slightly flexible. And for that reason, it goes around all of the corners and everything very easily. I didn't have to work very hard at all in, to get everything on there smoothly. But because you're not going to be tearing the edges off like we would if it was paper edges, are going to show. Um, you can cover those with some drywall joint compound if you want to. I did that on the beaks of mine uh, later when I was all done. I was I was able to do all three on the outside with with two rolls, and I didn't have enough left for where is he? I didn't have enough left for the inside of this one, and I'm really thinking that putting it on the inside of the mask is is one of the the best features of the tape mache idea so I did order some more it, it should be here uh, in a day or two now I do know that the paint will stick just fine to it even without the a primer or a gesso and I did try it and I did put modeling paste on these just because I wanted to get kind of a, a feathery texture and it sticks really good um, there's not any cracking or anything so so putting paint directly on it is feasible but it is the the white tape this next carrot tape is so absorbent in order to get a real clear color you need um, probably two or three coats because the uh, the tape absorbs the paint so much so I, I sprayed mine with a white primer not white paint but white primer and and that's going to stop that from happening the inside like I said is really nice and smooth it's um, it's it feels good <laughs> I really like the idea of putting putting it on the inside of a mask. So let's look at the actual pros and cons so that you can kind of decide whether you want to try the tape mache or not. The first really good point about using the normal paper mache strips and paste, whether you're using wood glue or um, just flour and water paste, is that if you make sure to get it dry before you paint it and you keep it dry by sealing it with something and don't put it in the attic or the basement or you know someplace where it's going to get really wet if you keep it dry it can last for a hundred years and i don't think that's going to happen with our tape in fact i i'm really pretty sure it's not going to <laughs> so and you can also use regular paper mache and paper mache clay on sculptures it's not just for masks or something that's going to be hollow or something that's made out of cardboard so there's a lot more ways that you can actually use the normal ordinary real <laughs> paper mache than with the tape mache and, and like I said it's going to last for a really long time on the other hand are like I said the the tape mache is for temporary stuff it's not for something that you're going to want to keep forever you're not going to be leaving it you know as a keepsake for your grandchildren <laughs> you know it, it, you wouldn't want to sell it because it, you don't know how long it's going to last but there are some really good points that i'm actually kind of excited about this tape the next care tape went on a lot faster and part of that was just because it's not you know newspaper isn't flexible so it took me longer uh, to get everything nice and smooth. On the other hand, once it was done and and the uh, the wood glue was dry, it is actually a little bit smoother on the surface. It is more flexible. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more comfortable. It, it'll feel more like you're wearing leather or cloth than the dried paper mache. And I, I really like that idea on a mask that's made out of cardboard and then covered with the tape. Paper strips and paste do have to dry. Um, if you use wood glue and if you put it in front of a, a furnace vent like I did this morning, you can get it done in a couple of hours. But usually you're going to want to leave it overnight at least. Uh, this was 
never got wet, <laughs> so there's no drying time at all. There's no mess involved with this either. I had to put my gloves on with my wood glue, and even with um, with the flour and water paste, you're going to end up with, you know, there, you have to clean it up. Um, that's that's not a problem with this. This you can just go ahead and put it on your mask and you're done. There's nothing to clean up and uh, there's no drying time. So that's a real good positive for me. So for temporary use, I'm voting for the tape mache. <laughs> if you try it, please let us know what you think. If you have an idea for other kind of tape that would work better, please let us know that too. If you can find the tape that the lady was using in that video, I'm putting a link to it right down below so you can see how, how she was doing it. Um, I couldn't find that tape. I want to try it, but I couldn't find it. So um, if you know how to get a hold of some of it, please let us know in the comment down below. And if you think it's a really crazy idea, you can tell us that too. Now go make something and come visit me, ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.